my name is Luna. I'm here to introduce you to the making of Opus X. We are a group of passionate classical musicians come together to create this project from all over the world. Caroline from LA on violin, Christina on cello from Japan, myself from London, and Tanya from Denmark. We are hoping to create something exciting and central and unique and bring it to a wider audience. I always loved performing on the violin, but I hated to practice. So I think finding music that you're passionate about and finding people with whom you enjoy playing uh, was the key for me. Let's see, I've known Luna for about, let's see, six or seven years. We've talked about a project to come together and play and perform and help compose pieces. And it's just in the last year that the plan has really formulated. We studied together at Juilliard, some of us. So we've all worked together um, over the years and we've become great friends. I thought it was just a nice mixture. They're all very strong personalities and very, they're great artists. And I thought the dynamic would be quite interesting. <laughs> My name is Sarah Ioannidis. I'm a conductor. Luna and I have known each other for many, many years. Uh, we worked together in England, in Spain, in New York. We were at Juilliard together. It would be hard for anybody to imagine how much work goes into preparing, you know, just one five-minute piece. Luna in a way is the leader she has selected the music she's chosen four totally unique personalities it can make it a challenge to fit four different things together but with time you arrive at a result that is perhaps greater than the single individual <laughs> point in time somebody can switch and fall in love with classical music and we hope that a recording such as this will grab everybody. My name is Christina Rico Cooper. Bringing classical music to younger audiences is one of our biggest challenges today for all classical musicians. What we're trying to do is to show that it's actually very accessible, it's friendly. You can be comfortable loving it. You don't have to sit there stiffly and feel like you're drinking tea with your, you know, your pinky raised. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Which bit? I want to do the little bit. There would be. Really super high ones. He's like, ow. I think if you can just insert little bits of classical music but in a more accessible format and maybe play it in a way that they don't expect or in a location that they don't expect or maybe even just by performers that you don't expect. Um, you know, when I go and, and play something with Sting, people are always listening very closely. And then when I get up and play something by myself, his audience is silent and they want to hear what I have to say. So I think maybe it's just about just breaking the mold of a very classical audience and format and just mixing it up, and I think there's a huge audience. My name is Tanya Zapolsky, and I'm originally from Russia. I have thought about this kind of project for a long time, actually. I, uh, I felt it's very urgent to, to play for younger audience. They love it. Yeah, I listen to all kind of music. I listen to electronic music, you know, to pop music, to rock, punk, to 
classical baroque and in the modern world we can melt all these genres and that's what we do. People are intimidated by it because they don't feel they don't know enough about it. So they don't obviously want to go to a concert over going to a pop concert or a rock concert. But I really think that music's so worthwhile. They should, you know, want to try and make it more fun and, and, and appealing to people. They're very attractive uh, artists in, in every respect. They're mesmerizing, in fact. We all have this intensity when we, you know, we're working together. So. My name is Steve Epstein, and uh, I am producing this wonderful album with uh, Luna Madsen and friends. Anything that can bring good music, great music to more people, particularly more young people, uh, is a great uh, motivation. And then it's wonderful coming up with a group with this kind of vitality with, with uh, the recording that we're doing presently. I threw in one of mine called Hypnotic because I actually it's very simple, very sort of trance-like and a lot of people seem to like it so I thought that would be good to have an original composition in there. I'm really thrilled that they wanted to play my song Hypnotic and, and um, so that for me was very exciting. My name is Ashley Avis. I am directing and producing this project and I live in Los Angeles. What she's putting together is just phenomenal and I think great for, you know, introducing or reintroducing classical music into more of a mainstream format. To be able to put together your crew and have people that you trust, that's priceless. So they worked really hard and the results are, are really magical.
The marketability of their group is great. They've got four very interesting women. They're all world-class musicians and they're all beautiful and just fascinating. I hope the public responds really favorably. I hope that they achieve what they're trying to do in, you know, getting getting a younger audience to kind of appreciate their music. You've got, I suppose, four very individual personalities, but with the same goal in mind, that is to make extremely potent and passionate music making that will really touch people and, and move you.